Um, the first thing that you really want to download is a program called uh, VAC, it's Virtual Audio Cable, and this will allow you to basically set up different virtual cables on your computer which make it think that it's physical cables um, so you can have different channels and, and be able to do creative things with them like add as you can see here adaptive noise reduction and a multiband compressor all right there's the mouse so anyways what we got here is as you can see adaptive noise reduction and the multiband compressor are the two uh, presets on the effects racks that I'm using so when you open up Adobe Audition, you're going to, oh, it doesn't show, what the fuck? All right, so basically the first thing you want to do is, since I can't start a new file, um, you, you're going to go to File, and when you open up Adobe Audition, it's going to look a little different. You're going to click File, New, and then you're going to click Multitrack Session, and then basically it will bring up a screen that looks like this, uh, except for where you see Track 1 right here it will look like what track 2 is. You'll see it says default stereo input and then you'll see uh, it, it might even just say none right here and none right here. Um, but we'll get to that in a second. So anyways um, when you open this up these effects racks are here by default right. You might have to click through it. It might start on media browser and you just click little tab effects rack and what you want to do is you want to click this arrow on like number one and we're going to go down here and it says noise reduction rest restoration and it's called adaptive noise reduction right so i hope that's not really fucking the audio too much but anyways this is the settings um i just leave it at default um i use an i7 so sometimes i i think i normally have this higher quality mode selected let's go ahead and check that i think i still sound okay um, all right, so the second thing you want to do is, again, without the adaptive noise reduction, this sounds a little weird. Here, I'll go and turn it off. So this is the adaptive noise reduction turned off. Um, it, it just helps kind of tone things down, brings them in a little closer, a little tighter, uh, cutting out the background noise. But you do need a pretty powerful processor if you're planning on playing games, streaming, and running these adaptive noise reduction. Um, all right, so number two, multiband compressor. Now this is the real important one here as a as any kind of broadcaster would suggest. Um, aside from having a condenser microphone, it doesn't really matter if you spend $500 on a condenser microphone. If you don't have a compressor hooked up to it, um, it's going to end up sounding like shit. So kind of the, the difference, I want to go ahead and t toggle it off um, and just start talking a little bit with the multiband compressor off. Again, this is a default one. Um, I don't really get too deep into uh, the differences, or like the, the subtle differences, but if you click the arrow again, we're going to scroll down and look for amplitude and compression right up here at top. And the one that I have is the multiband compressor. So again, this arrow, it's going to drop down, amplitude, compression, and then you click multiband compressor. Now there's a whole bunch of other ones like single band compressor, two modeled compressor, speech volume leveler. I mean this program is fucking insane with its level of of depth that you you get with it. Um, so I, I'm again keeping things real simple here because I am I'm actually pretty dumb when it comes to Adobe Audition. I just managed to figure out how to get this far so hopefully if this helps you it'll be a nice springboard for you to go on and learn even more neat tricks with Adobe Audition. So with multiband compressor, this is what this guy looks like. It's pretty awesome. And you can see my vocals going up and down here. Um, and if you really, you can get finite and touch everything up. But what I do is I go up here to the preset and I like to just to select broadcast. I mean, it, it seems to have nice highs and nice lows. Um, if you, there's anything you want to adjust in particular, um, you know, watch a few YouTube videos on compressors on audio compressors to kind of get the science of them so you have a more understanding. But again, the basics are already pre-installed, ready to go. The rack effect, you just click broadcast. You can mess with some of these other ones here. The names are kind of goofy. They, they help give you a direction of where you want to set things up at, but otherwise uh, it's pretty good just to go with broadcast. Um, helps give you a nice boominess to your voice. Cuts out some of the highs that are a little unnecessary. Um, 
but yeah and then again you know you just click X up here when it's done you can kind of poke around with that but if you don't really want to mess with any detail just turn it on set the broad uh, broadcast as the preset and I usually like to make sure that it's the number two track you want to have your plugins in a certain order to make sure that the CPU does certain things first if you have the wrong plugin before the wrong plugin it can cause not only driver errors but just general confusions with the software so we want to go ahead and make sure that those are ordered and if you have any problems with it you can just drag you know you literally just click on it and drag it around like that so it's pretty straightforward um, now moving on to the next step <clears throat> you want to let's go ahead and so you want to assign your ins and outs here your input and your output for Adobe Audition so we're gonna to go to audio hardware and now for your default input you want to make sure that it's assigned to the the actual hardware for the microphone the microphone itself and I mean everything else here is pretty similar device class MME this would only change for a different driver called ACO or ASIO I call it, I, I pronounce it ACO it's probably something different anyways MME it's by default don't worry about it if you have ASIO just leave it MME so on default output we want to have line one uh, again this is you gotta have virtual audio cable installed you really don't even need to do anything with the virtual audio cable you just install the damn thing and you'll automatically have the option for line one here um, now the speakers that uh, yeah you don't want to do the speakers you want to do line one all right and you want to set latency to 50 because I think by default it's at 200 um, that basically means that everything you say will have a 200 millisecond delay which is not that great so you want to go ahead and have 50 you want to put the lowest number as possible but I have found that if I go any lower than 50 it kind of fucks everything up causing it to have really horrific noises and whatnot uh, sample rate needs to go ahead and be the same as everything like your Windows audio settings they need to be if it's all at uh, 44 44,000 you know make sure it's that if your OBS is at 44,000 make sure everything across the board on your computer has should be the same sample rate and and hurts uh, it's not really super important but if you want to have the absolute best quality and squeeze every juice out of stuff this is gonna set you well on that that direction um, all right so that's all you really need there and so when you get that set up then you're gonna come here and I'll just do it down here on the second track and it's either gonna say none or default stereo input so once you set up the audio hardware it will show up you just go down here to stereo and you'll see it pop up with your hardware choice and you'll click the hardware which in this case is the microphone for your input and for the output you're gonna come down here to stereo and then you'll see that it'll say line one just as we had set up in the audio hardware and then you'll click that and it will look like this so basically what you're doing is the input is the actual hardware and then Adobe Audition is taking that virtual cable and making an output and then you go into your windows and then you set your microphone setting as the line one and that you have to have Adobe Audition running to even get it to work but this is how you get these effects racks to work in the first place so you're basically looping your microphone through your computer to hit these plugins and then to come back out with a cleaner sound or, or a sound that you prefer but anyways I think that should be pretty straightforward that should cover everything uh, one last thing I want to go ahead and mention is the arms arm for record and monitor output by default they're going to be turned off like you'll see it's it's not highlighted and this is grayed out uh, you basically want to make sure that you click arm for record and then you click monitor input if you don't have monitor input on it won't work you need both of these turned on now you're not actually recording which is this down here it's just called arm for record it basically means it's ready to go it, it's fired up and then you have to click monitor, monitor input see if you click record I don't know if that's fucking everything up you click record and then you'll see that it highlights and then you'll want to click monitor input and you kind of see how that works a little bit so it, it turns out pretty nice um, yeah if you have any questions just leave a question in the comments um, this is my first attempt ever at any kind of tutorial it was kind of hastily put together for the sake of a member 
and just trying to help them out. So maybe the next one will be a little better. Uh, but if you have any questions, I'll try to help you guys out. Again, this was Adobe Audition effects rack setup for beginners on OBS and whatnot. All right, guys. Thanks. Hope you have an awesome day. I'll catch you later.